Hi, I'm Martha Higdon with QuiltingByMartha.com. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about customer quilts. Since I quilt for other people, sometimes it can be a little challenging that it may not be your color choice, um, your batting may not be their choice. For my business, they bring the quilt top, the batting, and the backing. And then we pick three things. We pick, um, well the batting's already picked, we pick thread color and design. So normally I have them at least pick out the color of thread, that way they know what color of thread that they want on their quilt. And then secondly, a design. You see I have a Handy Quilter Fusion and I have the Pro Stitcher, um, which is a computerized robotics that runs my machine. So I like to have um, the machine do the work for me. I do um, do custom quilting for other people. Um, there's more, it costs more because it takes longer and it ties up my machine. So on this quilt here, she had needle turned um, the applique on each of these blocks. It's absolutely gorgeous. So she spent a lot of time needle turning the applique. I would have done custom quilting if it was my quilt and I would have done little circles or I would have meandered to bring the white down and I would have made the applique pop and then I would probably do swirls out here in the sashing area. But when I gave her the two prices, um, it is more expensive for the custom work. So she decided just an overall design that she picked. So um, I debated about it for a long time, went through a lot of my designs, and finally I just decided to do straight lines. One, it doesn't distort, and two, it doesn't take away from the applique. Because most of us quilters, and probably even piecers, would like gasp, thinking, oh my gosh, you quilted over that needle turn applique. Uh, it's kind of a taboo thing and um, so I decided well she wants it quilted and she only wants to do the edge to edge so I did the straight lines. Um, the thing about it is when you quilt for other people even though they say it may not go into a show but it could be a small quilt show and all of a sudden there's your quilt that you quilted with your name on it quilted by Martha Higdon. So you have to be, when you quilt for other people as a business, you have to be happy with the way the finish quilt turns out. So on this quilt here, because she had white um, in her blocks, she needed a white batting. Um, she could have got warm and white, um, but it looks like she got um, polyester. So we have a white batting so that the um, white appears white. She chose this uh, wild looking color for the backing fabric. She felt it pulled out a lot of the colors from the applique. Another thing she told me that she was going to do, is she's not gonna do your traditional binding. She actually is going to turn the back to the front of the quilt. I do not recommend that, but that's her. this is her quilt and that's how she's gonna do it. So when I quilt, I have to make sure I don't go over the quilt on the outside so that she's able to turn the backing fabric to the front. So that came up with some of my choices of how I was going to quilt it and then I decided to do the straight line. And so I'm gonna show you over here how I'm gonna do straight line. You notice I have a handy quilter fusion. I have on my square foot, I'm sorry, I have on my glide foot I took the square foot off when I was doing binding on the last quilt. This is my um, this is my glide foot. It glides right over, especially with this needle turn applique. You want it to glide right over. So I have my glide foot on. I have my lights turned off. I'm in precision mode. I'm at 10 stitches per inch. Now I could mark, and I am doing them one inch apart, but I just placed my ruler here, and I'm on each inch. I do needle down, needle up. I bring my bobbin to the top and then I do a couple of stitches to lock it into place. Then I'm going to hit, I'm under pro stitcher row number one, row number two, channel lock, and then row number three over here the far right is channel lock. So pro stitcher, channel lock, channel lock. When it turns green, the machine will only go horizontal. I hit the start and I go across. You notice that it only takes a fingertip. I'm just barely moving the computer, the machine and computer because it will only go horizontal. It's not gonna go vertical. You notice the glide foot is gliding right over it. I 
I get to the end of the quilt and I stay right on the edge because she's flipping her back to the front. I don't want to go off in it. Now when it's done, I take the horizontal back off. I pull my thread down, up, oh, stop the machine, pull my thread down, pull the bobbin thread to the top, and then I can tie off. Clip my thread, and then I go all the way back to the other side. I have tried to go from the other side back, but I have way too many thread breaks. So I just come right back over to um, the left-hand side. I'm using my ruler for my inch. Now, I can use my grid. Also in Pro Stitcher, I could turn my grid on and use the grid. I try to be very fast at whatever I do, and I find it faster this way. So then um, I pull my bobbin thread to the top, I do a couple of locking stitches. I then engage the horizontal again, making sure it turns green, and I go back and across. locking stitches take the horizontal back off and pull off my thread notice that my machine is making a beeping noise because I am going faster than the regulator it's okay my stitches are still going to be regulated go back I do one inch apart and I'm going to continue until I finish out this quilt turning horizontal on Turn it off, take the horizontal off. Some of you are noticing that I have a laser light on my Fusion. The newer machines automatically come with the laser light, so you don't want to not have that laser light. I created my own laser light by removing the um, light from my rear handlebars that I don't use and brought it to the front using my horizontal spool pen to hold it into place. You can see I have my laser laid. Again, I'm gonna turn my horizontal on. Go to the end, a few locking stitches, turn the horizontal back off. Now, if you want to quilt from right to left, you can. It's not recommended, but I just had way too many thread breaks. Now when it's in perfect timing, it will go both directions, but I just find it easier to start from this one direction and go all the way across. This will be my last one across. I hit the horizontal. Now if you don't have the pro stitcher, you can get the horizontal channel or you can get the channel locks that can go on your wheels that you can place on there and that will go only go horizontal. Go all the way across. To the end, turn the horizontal off, pull off your threads. All right, now I'm going to take the clamps off the sides. We are finished, and I want to show you this beautiful quilt. So we have all the straight lines across. And then I'm going to take my red snappers off so that we can see what those straight lines did for this beautiful quilt. Now, you notice I did straight lines horizontal. Now I could take the quilt off and turn it and then do the lines again so it's more of a checkered. That would be more work. Just look how pretty it is. It doesn't distort. It doesn't take away from any of the needle turn applique. You still see the beautiful handwork, but yet, 
the straight lines just give it a more delicate look, clean look, and it's such an easy way. So if you come across a quilt and you just have no idea how you want to quilt it, straight lines is always an option. It's fast, it's clean, and it doesn't distort or take away from any of the piecing. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Look for more on my YouTube channel or check out my website, quiltingbymartha.com. Happy quilting!